Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, welcome to my factions let's play. Uh, my name is Dfield. I am the head mod of pvp.drcon.net and I will be starting my own let's play on the MCMMO server. You know, everybody just plays factions 1 or factions 2, but no, we're going to change it up a little bit. And we're going to be playing on the MCMMO server, which is over here. So a lot of you guys have been asking for a base tour of what my bases looks like. And since everybody knows that the server is resetting, I will be giving you guys a quick base tour. Um, this Let's Play video will be mostly made with my, bro with, blah, 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 with my brother, Insanity. And he will be on now and then, depending on if he has school or if he's busy or, you know, if it's his bedtime. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Ooh. So if you guys haven't played MCMMO, it's basically the same thing as Factions 1 and Factions 2. The only difference is if you do slash stats, you see on the right side you come up with a bunch of skill levels that um, you have a chance to level up while you're in the game. So it for example, there's a mining level. Let me pull that back up. There's a mining level, and the more blocks you mine, it obviously levels your skill up. And it's, I don't know, it gives it a gives it a unique aspect to the game more than just you know just the normal factions where you're kind of just killing people. Whenever for MCMO, if you're ever bored, you know you could always go grind your skill levels up. You know, other skills. There's it's just other activities that you can do to pass the time. And uh, I, I've enjoyed the server quite a lot because it gives you a lot of stuff to do. And uh, yeah. So this is the MCMMO spawn. As you can see, it's, it's I like it. I, I'm pretty sure we're going to end up keeping the spawn for the 1.72 update. Uh, and to everybody wondering, because everybody tends to ask this whenever, whenever I'm online. Um, for the update, we are going to be keeping nothing, literally nothing. Everything will be reset. All player data will be deleted. So all your ender chests, anything in your inventory, everyone is going to be starting from scratch. So with that in mind, for these last couple days, hours, whatever, make sure you guys go PvP and uh, just lose everything. Just go crazy, go nuts. So uh, let's get this started. Uh, just TP to my home. You guys somehow seem to want to see my house, so let's get this started. Um, my brother, Insanity, he's 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 really into decorating, so we, you know we decided to just go with a nice nice feel to our house. And uh, if you guys were wondering, I have all this stuff in my inventory right now with 40 god apples, is because the past two days, past two days. We've been having a small faction war with uh, one of our close friends. And uh, whenever one of us are online, we just have set homes in each other's bases and then we just freaking fight for like hours upon hours, you know. But yeah, so this is our main room. You know, it's pretty organized, just the usual raiding chest, um, tools. We have a lot of stuff. <clears throat> uh, dump chest for when we're raiding. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. What the hell? I need to, I need to organize that later. What's in here? What the fuck? Yeah. Oh, we are going to have to organize that one time. But you know, since the servers are starting, it's whatever. So, um, let's go. Sh let's go up here first. <clears throat> this is our infamous double or actually quadruple blaze spawner room. Oh shit, there is a creeper in there. But in each one of these, if you, if I could see it, way up there, there's two um, blaze creeper spawners in each one. And, um, you know, they work simply. They grind them to one hit. And you can loot it with looting three if you wanted to. And this, uh, this was actually my primary source of income when I first started in this server. This was like the, the very first thing that me and my brother built and we just bought and like farmed blaze rods and yeah, just made our money from there and we just, just went from there. So 
there's that. And the floor below it. So right now, this is obsidian up because I am well aware that there is a couple of people with their set homes inside this area, so we had to block it off real quick. But let me mine through this real quick. And... <clears throat> so this is my brother's efficient... I mean, I think it's efficient. Uh, iron golem spawner room. There's a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six times two. There's twelve iron golems in there. So you know it's pretty efficient. Does it? It does, does its job. It, fin it gets us a lot of iron bars really quickly. So you know can't get enough iron. It's just more money. Why is this door not closing? Close, close. There we go. And then if we go into this room. Um, there's just a bunch of uh, chests here that has different books that we've enchanted, etc. And then these right here is our main source of income as of right now. A lot, as you can see, a lot of iron bars and lots of flowers too. You know, you can plant those everywhere. But yeah, this is our main source of income that's from the iron golems farm upstairs. Uh, let's see, moving on our little room over here so my brother is into the redstone quite a bit so he made our little automatic potion brewing stand you know strength to no, eight minutes strength potions I forget what this is because they broke the signs splash healing potions harming potion you know the works and uh, I don't know maybe in the future my brother will do a video with me and he'll explain the mechanics of this but it's pretty simple it's quite compact as you can see you know there's like eight or ten types of different potions he can make in a small room so it's quite compact oh and if you guys were wondering there's this obsidian pattern or not obsidian bedrock pattern on this floor because one of the ad admins decided to come online when I was playing and uh, yeah they just fucked up my floor and uh, that's what came up I just just obsidian everywhere <clears throat> So this pad right here is the spawning pad for my pigment spawners that are upstairs. As you can see, we have obsidian everywhere because we just want to make sure none of our none of our allied friends that we're having a faction war with are able to get into our spawn, you know, because and catch us off guard. So if we uh, if we somehow get into a war during this video, you guys are you guys will be in. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Okay, I'm good. Oh, that was scary. Oh, that looks ugly. Okay, I'll fix that later. Anyway, so this room, <clears throat> you guys might be wondering why we have, why am I still on fire? But we have this room right here. Wait, before I go into that. This little lever here is just a quick on-off kill switch for the pigment spawn that pigment spawner area that I will be showing you guys later. But anyway, this room right here, you guys are probably like, "What is this?" And this is a specialty of MCMMO. Like if I do slash stats again, as you can see, my fishing is very high. So on MCMMO, the, the different skill levels give you so, like bonuses. I think you, you could call it bonuses while you're doing a certain activity and uh, once you get to above level 600 fishing you start fishing diamond blocks or not diamond blocks but diamonds themselves so and then once your fishing level gets even higher it goes to like prot one diamond and prot two diamond as you can see there's just a bunch of random stuff in here but like this is all from fishing like you'll pull that stuff straight out of the water and then I have a little dispenser system that collects into a bunch of chests that, uh, yeah, that collects all the items that you fish up. So as you can see, there's like there's like chances of getting uh, chances of getting uh, you know, d random items that just have so many different chance on them. Yeah, these rooms were made by my brother. Like he's just I don't know, he's just a genius. <clears throat> um, let's see what else we could show you. Uh, we actually have two of these rooms because usually me and my brother fish at the same time, you know, make it max efficiency, of course. And uh, up here is the 
the pigmen, the pigmen spawner area. So it's it's really simple. I think we have seven in there right now. We're just too lazy to finish off the room. And then they go down this little water path, and they fall 23 blocks, and they're either kept and collected, or they fall down and just die and get collected in the dispensers down there. It's a very simple system. If you guys want a video on how to make it, just leave a comment, leave a like, do whatever you got to do, and we'll be happy to teach you. Simple AFK pool. And uh, yeah, that's that's basically it for our base. It's not it's not a very it's not a very strong base I would say but it's a very nicely organized and uh, suits our purpose so right, let me obsidian these back up I need more obsidian yeah that concludes the base tour for the meantime um, I'll be looking forward to playing 1.7 with you guys um, if you want to join me and my friends and our allies in this uh, in this server, just feel free to join pvp.thearchon.net, and we will be playing on the MC MMO server. As you can see, once again, we are very organized. We just have everything ready, bunch of brewing stands ready. If we wanted to make it manually, you know, and some people were wondering, a lot of MC MMO players, they were wondering how OP me and my brother were, and. I actually qu lost quite a few sets this past two days because you know just been messing around with the the people of the server, just giving out stuff and whatnot. But uh, we have a nice collection of sharp four swords here, and there's also sharp five on the bottom. Um, sharp three, sharp two, etc. And everything is just organized. My brother likes his organization. And um, yeah. Um, oh, one more thing. Uh, we have a vault that I will show you real quickly. <coughs> so yeah, as you guys can see, those people who are calling me hackers, I do not have forced TP. As you can see, I still have to wait the five seconds. I am not a cheater. I am a very legit player on the server, and it's very fun. So we've started collecting a bunch of diamond sets throughout the ages that we've played on the server and you know just decided to show you guys everything we have so far because the servers are starting and we you know you might as well you might as well know what I have I had this whole entire chest was filled with prop 4 as well as this one but you know got into a bunch of fights with our faction allies and ended up losing a majority of it but you know it was all in good fun so all of this enchanted projectile protection, fire protection, this is from the fishing that I was talking about on MCMMO. So if you guys are dedicated enough to get 600 fishing, feel, f you know, you just fish up all of these, uh, all these diamond armor. Look at this pretty diamond armor. It's just glowing. And uh, yeah, that's about it for today. Um, you know what? Let's... Go play some. Let's go play some Sky Wars. Whoa, what is happening? Let's get out of here. Let's play some Sky Wars. This is our beautiful hub, made by a designer. I forget who it was, but, but yeah, let's let's play some Sky Wars, guys. Oh look, there's far few games just chilling. Okay, let's play some Sky Wars. Play a game or two with you guys, and then uh, I think that, that'll be it for this first episode. I'm glad you guys could join me for our very first episode. Hope to see you guys when we actually start the series on 1.7. And, uh, yeah, let's play some games. Oh, uh, let's see. <clears throat> Come on, people, join the game. There's no one joining. And uh, I'll pause this video and, uh, oh, actually, no, people are joining now. So I guess we'll just wait a little bit for it to start. Let's wait a little bit. Uh, actually, we'll just fast forward it to the part when everybody's joining. And I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, the game is about to start. Eight people. Eight lonely souls playing Sky Wars. So this uh, this server we just recently 
we just recently made so it does have a couple of bugs on it it, it is quite laggy at first because but we'll be doing a, an overhaul on that so everything should be fixed fairly soon we just have to wait on a couple of other stuff and then just get a go with the flow you know I think I'm gonna which guy looks weaker I can't even see that guy let's, let's, let's go over here see if we can see if we can surprise this guy that's building over here if you guys haven't played Skywars it's basically um, you start on a platform with one person oh god he sees me I hope he doesn't have anything to hit me off you start on a platform and you either oh god no ah! Oh, yeah, that's a game. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next game. And welcome back. This is game number two. Um, as I was saying, we spawn on these platforms and, you know, there's a couple of different maps. We're probably going to end up getting more later on as um, as 1.72 updates and as we talk to our build team. But for this specific map, it's, it's really unlucky if you don't get any building blocks in the one chest. So let's ho hopefully we do, but we'll see. Um, I get really into this game when I play, so if you hear me screaming, that's, that's probably why. Oh, yes, we got some building blocks. All right, we're good. We're good for a little bit. Change my booties. Let's see who's the unfortunate soul. Let's see if I can snipe him. Come on. Oh, I got him! Oh! Let's see if I can get this guy. <laughs> it's too easy. It's too easy. There's two people that died right there. <laughs> oh, God, he's there. No. No! Shit, he's in the center. Oh, excuse my language. Let's see if we can get to the center to match this guy. Uh oh, uh oh. There's two of them headed to the center now. So the center of the chest is like sort of like a center arena, like for the Hunger Games, like a bunch of amazing chests in there. Uh oh, intense fight. Here we go. Oh, he's dead. That was easy kill. Oh, this guy's got lava. Ah, oh, he's got lava. Oh, he's dead. Alright, just one person left. This game is too e Oh, God! Why am I on fire? Let's block this off. I don't want to be on fire. Where's the last person? Oh, there he is. There he is. Do I have any arrows? I don't have any arrows. Die, die, die. Oh, we're winners! Yes! Alright, um... I think that'll be it for this episode i hope to see you guys later make sure you like and subscribe i love all of you and i will see you guys later